Hello everybody, it is Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, I am so glad that you've come back. If you're new, welcome and I hope you'll enjoy this video. I do a lot of colouring videos. I've been taking a break and only doing wrap-ups since my father passed away in February, but I'm starting to get back into the swing of things and I'm hoping to do some more videos like colouring chats and review videos soon. You'll have to excuse my voice, I do have a bit of a cough, so I might have a splutter. But this is the monthly wrap up of, oh excuse me, books um, that I've coloured in, pictures I've coloured. It's my completed pages, I just can't get the words out today, it's terrible isn't it? You have to excuse the muck on the table, this is all sorts of things that Jennifer spilled and I haven't had time to clean it or she's drawn on it. I give it a good scrub soon. So let's get started with the pictures I coloured in March. So this first one is from Ava Brown's latest book. This book is called Easter and I coloured this lovely little Easter chick um, mostly using pens by Crelando which is a brand that supplies Lidl's and they had some art markers recently and you will see them in my haul when I do one. Um, I've only got two books at the moment, no three books because one was one my mum had and she doesn't colour anymore so she's given it to me and a few pens but I've got some more supplies come in uh, but we will do a haul in a month or so when I've got something more to show you but so this was done doing those art markers and some of my touch markers that needed finishing off or that I'm trying to finish off because I've got a big box of markers um, that I use to finish them off so that was that one I finally did one in a hundred bold colouring pages simple dye designs for adults and kids this is just a simple book with simple pictures <coughs> that I could probably finish this year if I really wanted to I've only done one in it um I just wanted to have a look Jennifer also has a copy of this book but she hasn't coloured in it yet but I did the mermaid and again this was done using Again, that pile of markers in the box that I've got that I'm trying to use up. Uh, as you can see, there's some here and some glitter gel pens. These are the AR Art ones. I never show you the pens that I've used. I do save them and I always forget to show them. What I will do is I'll probably show you them at the end of the year if I've still got them. Uh, markers. And it's just a simple little picture that I enjoyed. I might take it upstairs and do another one later. <laughs> when I get to bed. Most of the pictures are patterns or colour by numbers just simply because of everything that's been going on. I haven't really been <coughs> colouring as much as I wanted to. <clears throat> I am hoping though to whip the whips this month. I've got two whips, I can't breathe, left over from last month I want to finish. One's an Easter one and I've got some previous ones that I want to try and have a look at. So I love this Sally Berry 300 Mandala book and if this is one I take on holiday when I go normally. Um, we went away last week and we did take colouring books, we didn't colour anything, we, just, we were only there a couple of days. When I go away in the summer we're having two separate holidays in the summer, both in the UK. Uh, this one will be going with me. And I only did the one and I did this and again this was with various markers from the box I'm trying to finish because uh, or trying to use because I've got more pens upstairs that need to come down and go in that box but the box is uh, rather full so yeah there's not a lot going on it's just your, your basic mandala but I do love this book it is so nice it's gonna be a long time before I actually finish this book but I know I will one day because I just love the pictures and I do one at least up to around one a month normally when I can I did one in 100 Amazing Patterns by Jade Summer. Uh, th uh, these books I do in order, by the way, because I, do them, I, I just I can't choose which pictures I want to colour. Let me find the one I did. And I did this one. <coughs> and this one was done using some glitter pens I bought. It wasn't the glitter pens I wanted to use because I couldn't find them. <laughs> they were on the table buried under something of Jennifer's. But these were a pen I saw on somebody's channel, thought I'd try. They're all right. Some of them are better than others. The red and this light green's not very good. The light blue's not very good. They're not bad, but, you know, the rest of them's right. The orange is gorgeous. 
Again, I've got 100 Easy Mandala Colour by Number by Satch and Satch Diva, and I did one in here. And it was this one. This is again a nice easy book just to do. This was again just either the touch mark, the first uh, bag of touch markers I got from TikTok shop, not a second. I haven't used them, even though I've swatched them, and Jennifer lost one down the back of the sofa. When I pull the sofa out, I will find it. Probably on one of my dad's combs. Um, <coughs> again, we are using the markers that I'm trying to finish up here. So mostly, when I do get through them, it'll be mostly greys at the bottom, probably. But I do like that book as well. St. Patrick's Day, Satchin Such Diva, kind of by number, because, of course, St. Patrick's Day was March 17th. And I actually did two in this one. I did this happy chappy here with this frothing pint of green stuff. It should be Guinness, really, but there you go, in my personal opinion. Love a pint of Guinness. Every now and again. Not every day, but every now and again. And this happy little girl. So it says lucky. And again, both of these were done with TikTok shop markers. And the ones that are running out, as you can see, his waistcoat is a slightly different green. Um, and same here, TikTok shop markers and the box. Just trying to use them up. Then I've got 50 Gorgeous Patterns, Colour by Number by Sachin Satch Diva. This book is gorgeous. I've only done two in this one. Um, uh, so I did the second one this month and it was this one. Oops, that's um, a message from eBay. I'll look at that after. It might be just something I'm watching. Um, and again, I really do like these. This was TikTok shop markers. Um, and probably some of the ones that I'm trying to get rid of. But then the TikTok shop original bag is slowly running out and I'm trying to get rid of as many of them before I use the the new one but uh, yeah and they don't take long you'd think they would because they're quite intricate um, and you've got this big background so 19 on here is grey and I, I, I'm going to have a go at that one I think soon so that's that one and now we are on to the books that I want to work in or complete this year I think I've got eight of them here. One I haven't coloured in at all. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one I finished, which was the which was Chelsea. So these are the ones left. The one I haven't done anything in really is the Community Angel Cove one. Um, I just haven't got around to pulling out the glitter pens that I'm using in that book. Um, but that might be something for, for March. I mean, I'm not going to finish that book, but if I can get a few couple of pages done in there, I'll be happy. So the first one I did was in, let me just pull that out. That was a page because this is the book I took on holiday women, didn't do anything in. Um, Colour by Number Mandalas by Jade Summer. And again, this has been done with the box of markers and the TikTok shop markers ones I'm trying to use up and get rid of slowly well not get rid of obviously I want to get rid of them but I'm using them up so I you know and yeah so that's that one at the end of June I will do a wrap up and we'll see how many pictures we've got left in each of these 10 books and if we've actually completed any of them and then I did one in colour by number flowers the as you can see this book is getting battered because I do use it a lot and again, this one again was done using various markers from the box and the TikTok original bag. So as you can see, the blue changes colour where one ran out and the other one took over. But that's par for the course when you are using up markers. I mean, I've got a set of Arteza Everblends upstairs that I use upstairs that I am uh, using up at the moment. And then I've got a load down here. I don't colour up as much there, as up, upstairs as I do down here. Um, but I have lots of markers up there if I decide to. I did do one in Kawaii colour by number. So did I do one at the back as well? I'm sure I did. I Maybe I didn't. I didn't this month. No, I didn't. Right, so I did this month. Let me just find it. The little uh, aliens and spacemen. I like this one. Again, as you can see, one of the pens ran out and I used the one with more ink and yeah, it's the same colour it's just that there was more ink than the one so of course it um looks better I do like this book I think it's adorable I just hate going around I mean some people love going around the edges with the pens 
with the glitter gel pens here, but I, I find it tedious. That is a good one. I, there's not many left in this. This is one of the books I will definitely finish this year. <coughs> as long as I keep working on it every month. Chibi Girls Volume 2 by April Amber is another one that I want to work in a fair bit this year. Jennifer likes this book and as I've said it's got two of each so once I've completed it she can have it or she can just colour it whenever she wants now. And I did this little Cinderella. I enjoyed that one. And again this was all the markers I'm trying to, you know, my various markers that I'm trying to use up from TikTok shop and in my box. We have got some various um, glitter gel pens on here. These are are both Link Shine Blue and the a and Arts and the same with the silver. But I really think she's cute. I love this book and I have to, I'm, I'm enjoying colouring in this book every month so looking forward to choosing one to do in April. Uh, another one that I will definitely finish this year is Easy Flower Mandela's colouring book by Stefania Miro. This is one of the very first colouring books I got back in 2016 17 so it's been around for a while oh i love i love coloring these simple mandalas but they're so pretty as you can see let's see here we go so this was done with i'm gonna say a and art glitter markers looking at it it's not link shine it's a and art and i do i think this looks really really nice oh you will have to excuse me, I do have to have a drink because I'm going to start coughing soon. There's only a few more to go. Uh, but yeah, I really, really love this book. I can't believe I'm finally going to finish it this year. I'm also going to finish this year, in fact, in a few months, I think it's going to be finished around June, is Rose Windows, maybe May, I'm not sure, by Joel S. Avron, which is a creative haven book. I love creative haven books. I don't colour in them enough. And this month I did, let me just get to it, uh, this one, this one was a, a lot more detailed as you can see, I'll zoom in a bit so you can see the pattern at the top, if it'll focus, you want to focus? No, I don't want to focus, it's very detailed. Um, I use, other than every now and again when I switch to, and use a pastel colour, I use the same set of six pens I want to say from Crilando, again, bought from Lidl's. They are art markers. They are beautiful, vibrant ones. I'm pretty sure I've got another complete set up in my storage box. I will be getting that out soon and uh, have a look at it. And then I can show you all my supplies because <clears throat> I'm moving stuff around upstairs because my brother is finally shipping all his stuff out to New Zealand where he lives. He's leaving this week. Everything's shipped and he's got another bookcase I can have short uh, it's not a six footer it's about five foot and it's going to go into the bedroom where my chest is that has my coloring supplies in it i'm going to move the chest to the bedroom and store bedding in it and the coloring supplies are going to go on this bookcase where then i can actually get them because at the moment i can't get to them so i will show you a good look at that when i do it this is the next but yeah i've only got like three more i think if that one two three more april may and june so yeah around the six month mark we will be getting there with these let me just uh, zoom out next book is 50 easy mandalas by jade summer again this is what i'm trying to do uh, slowly and i had this one now this is the a set of markers from Orlando again so they had two sets in Lidl's which you will see one was a pastel pastel set and one was a bright um I didn't see the brights the first time I went I only saw the pastels so I got the pastels last week I went in saw the brights snapped them up <laughs> got to be done um so you'll be seeing those when I do do a haul I, like I said I don't know when it's going to be I still don't have a job um I am looking <laughs> slowly uh, I have been told I don't need to look for work at this time because of my mental health. But I'm not a person who cannot work for a long period. So, but yeah, this is just beautiful pastel colours. I, I think they're just beautiful. 
And the last picture was from 50 Easy Patterns. Again, another Jade Summer. So we've still got four Jade Summers on the go here and I want to, to finish them. I'm not putting any more Jade Summer in this until I've finished one of them. And they are ones that have got a lot of pictures in them. So 50 or 100 or whatever, 50s I think. And this was done with various metallics. I bought a set of metallics from TikTok shop. I think I have showed you them. And I had them before, but not as many colours. There's more colours this time. And again, as with all of these sorts of markers, some work better than others. Like this green is beautiful. Um, this blue is beautiful. The orange is gorgeous. This dark blue is stunning as well. But yeah, that is actually everything I coloured in the month of March. As I said in... At the beginning uh, in April I'm going to try and complete some of the whips I've got now some of them I've only just started there I've got one in one of the Alan Robert books that I've only got a tiny bit of I'm not worrying about that too much I might try and do a bit of it but I'm not going to worry too much about it because it's a massive pit doubles page spread but I've got an almost finished Kobe Rosanne's picture I've got Easter one I started last week, I haven't finished. Um, a pattern I started last week, I haven't finished. And so on. I might try and do a small haul at the end of April because that takes it to the end of the fourth month and then I'll do them every other month. So I hope you've enjoyed this video of all my colouring pages. I will be honest, this is my favourite. I think this little chick is adorable. Um, like I said, this is from Easter by uh Ava Brown I am fortunate enough to be back on the Ava Brown launch club which means I get a free copy in pdf form of all the books when they bring them out this has been my favorite for a long time I think this is absolutely gorgeous book um it's uh, and I, I want to color in more of it even though it's not Easter so I hope you've enjoyed this video and my rambling I will see you again very soon I'll be doing my reading wrap up and a book haul not necessarily in that order i'm doing a reading vlog this week so you'll see that next monday i hope you had a happy easter and jennifer's awful this week but if i get to bed early enough maybe tomorrow i might start thinking about doing a coloring chat in one of my uh videos so i hope you've enjoyed this one and i will see you in the next one take care everybody and happy coloring Bye bye